tens of thousands of different tropical plants, 300 exotic animals and a rainforest. It looks like somewhere in Asia, but in fact we're in Leipzig Zoo in the east of Germany. This big dome is home to some 40 species from around the world. The air in this big greenhouse is difficult to breathe. There's a constant temperature of 24 degrees centigrade and 95% humidity. All this is made possible by a special cladding system based on plastic cushions filled with air. It's 100 times lighter than glass, extremely flexible, but also very strong. For example, it can easily support the weight of a heavy snowfall. The man behind the invention is German mechanical engineer Stefan Lennert. The cushions went on the market 10 years ago. Like all reasonably good inventions, in reality it's a very simple product. We take a high-grade plastic which is extremely long-lasting. When I say extremely long-lasting, we are talking 50 years, 100 years, and no degradation. Uh, we then fill the, the, the chamber between several layers of air, which is something like a cushion that you have in your bed, and the air actually gives the insulation. It has very, very good fire characteristics, which means in a fire scenario, the foils behave very advantageously. Second issue is they are self-cleaning. Everything is being washed off by rain. The air between the plastic is heated naturally by the sun, which in turn warms the inside of the dome and reduces heating costs. Today, Lennart's technology is in use around the world. This structure in Astana in Kazakhstan protects plants and people from the extremes of temperatures. And the aquatic center in Beijing protects swimmers from the pollution outside. 62-year-old Stefan Lennart is among the nominees for the European Inventor Award, organized by the European Patent Office, which will be held in June in Copenhagen. Although he lives and works in Bremen in Germany, his company has branches around the world, and he's away from home 200 days a year. Have you set a new basis for architecture? Well, we've given architects a very simple way in a very economical way to generate these large spaces and use, art use natural plants and animals without any pesticides or any other chemical intervention to live in a controlled environment under a roof. How has your life changed after this invention? For me, there was no life before the invention. So we did the invention and then we worked very hard to make things come true and be reliable to serve our clients. The Leipzig structure is often referred to as the zoo of the future. What does Lennart envisage for his plastic structures? You asked me about the future of the technology. I haven't got an idea. Today we are building things that five years ago we didn't dream about. What we will do in five years' time, I haven't got a clue. He says the only limit to the use of his technology is the imagination.